Hope uh, you enjoyed the lunch. Uh, ako po si Glenn Gerlan and I'm the, uh, I'm the president of Lyric Opera. We founded Lyric Opera about eight years ago with my good friend and partner in, uh, in the opera world, that's uh, Sherwin Sozon. Uh, through the years, we've been presenting concerts and operas, and now we're venturing in musicals. We're featuring not only uh, our only present, not only the present-day mainstream opera singers here in the Philippines, but we are here. Lyric Opera is here to feature our young and energetic, aspiring artists. No, as we all know, Lyric Opera is here to champion the Filipino classical artists and give them the opportunity to perform alongside our best set, costume designers, choreographers, and directors like Pita Luis Guillen, uh, Carlos Carlito Siguion Reina, to name a few, and also conductors like US-based and European-based conductor William Barkheimer, and our very own Arturo Molina of the uh, Manila Symphony Orchestra, and uh, Hermi Llanero of the Philippine Philharmonic Orchestra. Uh, they, through the eight, through the years, eight years ago, we've started. Uh, you've seen a lyric opera present several concerts, like uh, Voce Celesti, cel where we featured, uh, where a Filipino artist performed with other artists from five Asian countries. No? And uh, you you've also seen us present our very first opera production of Carmen which was also, I think, a debut, uh, directorial debut of, uh, and an opera stage, uh, opera. or opera, yes. Uh, Tita Loris Gillian was our director during that time. And uh, we also presented Puccini's uh, Janis Kiki at the CCP. And uh, only last, last year, 2017, we had our fundraising concert for Marawi that was entitled Marawi Salamat. Uh, it was directed by Carlito Siguion Reina. And here we performed alongside the very best of Filipino uh, fashion designers, with the with the uh, direction of uh, yeah Carlito Sigion Reina and uh, USD Symphony Orchestra at the Cultural Center of the Philippines. Uh, now we're venturing in musical, and the first musical that we chose is a Filipino musical, which is uh, composed by Ryan Kayabiab and lyrics or the libretto by uh, Nestor Torre. And this time we've asked uh, direct Luis Gillian to come and help us again in this uh, production uh, since this is another initial major production that we are offering in Lyric Opera. Thank you very much. Yes, good afternoon. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Welcome especially our valued members from the traditional and online media and press. Uh, Thank you for taking time out of your busy schedules to attend our little press con. Special thanks to Ms. Tonette and Alexia of After 12, and of course, Russell, for, for arranging uh, the location. Uh, Magnificat kicks off the eighth season for Lyric Opera. This landmark musical is touted by some as the most successful religious musical in the Philippines. It was composed by national artist for music, Ryan Kayapia, and uh, it was written by Catholic Mass Media Hall of Fame awardee, Mr. Nestor, Derek Nestor Torre. Uh, this, this musical is actually based on the Bible, so it's not really based on any particular uh, yeah, religion, but that it's more on the Bible, it's Bible-based. Magnificat, uh, initial run, had a run of around 200 shows since it's opened in 1996. This year, we are bringing it back uh, with a new staging by direct Loris Guillen. The show will run from September 27th to October 12th at the Music Museum, playing Mary, our Pinky Marquez Cancho, and Ana Fileon. Young Mary is played by our new discovery, Miss Alisa Evangelista, and Jesus is played by Al Gatmaitan. Here to give you a sample of the music uh, is Alisa Evangelista, she will sing Sangol uh, Kong Musmos from the Act One. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Alisa Evangelista. <laughs> 